ever pondered over the genesis of artificial intelligence? The first stepping stone in the journey of AI was none other than the logic theorist, often regarded as the first artificial intelligence program. This groundbreaking invention took form in the early 1950s, thanks to the brilliant minds of Alan Newell, Herbert A. Simon, and J.C. Shaw at the Rand Corporation, and later at Carnegie Mellon University. Its primary purpose? To mimic human problem-solving capabilities, acting as a theorem prover for symbolic logic. The logic theorist was designed to simulate human problem-solving skills, taking inspiration from the principles of symbolic logic laid out by Bertrand Russell and Alfred North Whitehead in their influential work, Principia Mathematica. The program had one main objective, to prove mathematical theorems using a decision-making process akin to human reasoning. The system adopted a tree search technique, incorporating heuristics to prune the tree of possibilities and zero in on the most promising solutions. This pioneering use of heuristics in computing is what made the logic theorist a landmark project in the field of AI. Fast forward to the 1956 Dartmouth Conference, a crucial event in the history of AI. The logic theorist stole the show by successfully proving 38 of the first 52 theorems in Principia Mathematica. But it didn't stop there. The program even found a more elegant proof for one theorem than the original provided by Whitehead and Russell thereby hinting at its potential to not just mimic, but possibly even surpass human problem-solving in specific contexts. The success of the logic theorist played a vital role in paving the way for future AI research and development. It influenced the design of subsequent AI programs and established a model for using heuristics and search techniques in problem-solving. Newell, Simon, and Shaw's work even led to the development of the general problem-solver, Another early AI system aimed at a broader range of problems beyond logic theorems. The concepts birthed in the logic theorist, especially its use of heuristics and decision trees, continue to be fundamental in AI applications today. These applications range from expert systems to machine learning and decision support systems. The logic theorist was not just a significant technical achievement. It was a proof of concept that machines could carry out tasks requiring mental agility and intelligence, influencing decades of AI research and development. So, the logic theorist, a product of the 1950s, was run on the Johnniac computer, an early computer built by the RAND Corporation. Named after John von Neumann, a pioneer in early computing, Johnniac was one of the few computers available during the 1950s that could handle such complex computational tasks. Despite its primitive nature by today's standards, with slow processing speeds and limited memory capacity, the Johnniac was quite capable for its time. It used a form of memory known as delay line memory, which relied on sound waves in mercury or pulses in tubes to store data quite different and less efficient than modern semiconductor memory, wouldn't you say? The logic theorist and Johnniac, though seemingly rudimentary in the face of modern technology, were the humble beginnings of the AI revolution. Their existence marked a significant moment in history, a moment that demonstrated the potential of machines to carry out tasks requiring intelligence and opened the door to the world of artificial intelligence that we know today. Do you think you know of an earlier example of AI? Maybe our distant ancestors had something up their sleeve. Jot it down in the comments and maybe you'll make a future video on it. Thank you and remember to like and subscribe. Hit that bell thing too so I can bug you at work with more content.